with Drew Dilkins, hopefully, with yeah. him as our mayor-elect at the time of taping, that uh, he yeah. will also continue. For sure, and I, I sat down with Drew, actually. I sat down with John, too, and I, I we had a whole conversation around economic development because oh, uh, for, me, for me to actually, and he called, as yeah. Drew did, to say, let's talk about economic development. So me watching this whole, uh, the municipal election, my eye was on, uh, I need to be comfortable that everybody that's going to be elected will be pro-economic development, and I was feeling really good at the end of the night on uh, on Monday night. And here's my prediction that yeah. the new warden is going to be Gary McNamara from Tecumseh. Well, there you go. You now, now, you might also know that he is now the president of AMO. Just telling you, yeah. I think he's going to be the okay. next warden. But Do I'll you? just throw that out. Tom okay. Bain has done a great job. And, and you know if he me, continues to. I'm completely agnostic. I'm I do not have a know. public, a political opinion that anyone's going to hear about. <laughs> <laughs> but but I'll so. tell you, they are hearing a lot about uh -huh. uh, Windsor, Essex, ec Windsor Essex economic development. So what mm -hmm. we're going to do is we're going to look at a few of the things that uh, when Sandra and her team go out to mm. to preach the good word and preach the gospel of, of uh, Windsor Essex and why people should be investing. So let's take a look and we'll walk through a few of those things uh, that we talk about. And of well, course, look at it, that uh, nice picture. I'm you telling know, you, there that is that is really good. People don't realize that we're right on that border. I had a fellow in the UK the other day while he was at his end of the phone. I was on mine. We were both looking at this picture, and they could say, "Wow, look at where you are. Look, is that boat really there in the water?" And it was. People don't realize how close we are to the U.S. and that we are right on the cusp of a massive market. So um, tell us about your chair. Shelley Fellows has been the vice chair. She's been on the board of economic development since, oh, I'm going to say seven or eight years now. And this year she assumed the chairship at the latest AGM. Uh, we're delighted for her. I thought I would talk today about a little of the things that we're doing that, that's new, but really what the organization has been has been has been there to do. One is to talk to the leadership of the community in both Windsor and Essex County about what it takes for a community to be investment ready. So we bring our leadership together, we interact with local business leaders, talk about uh, in some instances how other jurisdictions are trying to chase our business and get them to come there. So what our leadership needs to do to make us continue to be investment friendly. So that's like councils, all uh, the CEOs, city councillors, all the town councillors, the CAOs, the guys mayors. who run the towns, the mayors. Um, we had an 85% participation rate and what came out of that day was the business ombudsman and we decided that we would launch this position. And there she is, Maid Marion. Marion Marian, Marian. <laughs> Marian Fantetti, the first Canadian business ombudsman. There's no other economic development organization in the country that's actually assigned a position whose job it is to help business negotiate all of that regulatory world of government for business. And you can see here that she works with the whole team. All of those folks represent all the CAOs of all the towns. So when we get, when we hear from a company that we realize, okay, they've got some issues, whether it's a zoning or a permitting, or I don't understand what the government's doing with the customs rules, et cetera, Marion's your guy. She's the one who'll be on the phone uh, in a New York second. She's got every connection in the world. Her own history is to have worked sure. previously, of course, with all different levels. And uh, she's been getting great traction. Interestingly enough, three quarters in a row, in a row, her number one issue that she's dealing with for our business people, immigration issues, mm. which really speaks to who we are as a local community. And a border town, And right? a border town. And international business Export that we've oriented. Been. It's actually, it's a good sign that that's what her issues are, and even better that she's actually helping. And then next, of course, we've been taking our show on the road in every opportunity. This is some benefit to me having had some contacts before in, other, in my other work to be able to get us into different scenarios where we're talking to a business audience about Windsor. And, and so tell wh where would you yeah. be going with well, some this instant it was Toronto, the Toronto Board of Trade, which really mm -hmm. is that hub and right downtown Toronto, who those guys are the chattering class, if you will, in business. When they hear our message, you can tell months later they were still telling me about the things that they knew they heard that day. Another instant is a senior executive at Ford who came in for the APMA, the automotive parts manufacturers. So we go to the businesses that we want to talk to about why they should be investing in Windsor Essex. We take every opportunity to do it. Um, we've also had great sponsorship, so we've launched full page ads um, that still get traction. That as long as people know that there's activity down here, that we are ripe for them to come and talk to us about investment, uh, we know that we're going to start getting more and more calls. Very powerful message to tell them when they call, and that is we are the only community in all of Canada that has had six years in a row of a decreasing industrial property tax rate by our council and through some very difficult times. So that gives an inkling to business 
that we're serious about wanting to be good for them to come. And then of course we compare ourselves with where else could they go in the world or even in the region. And when you stack us up against other jurisdictions, you can see how well Windsor does on the I mean, cost look at compared side. to Waterloo even. I mean, look at the cost structures. I think we tell a very powerful story. Paxil is a very good example that came to us from the GTA area around Greater Toronto, and they came to Windsor because they were looking to buy, and they could do it for a quarter of the cost when they were looking at facilities to move into, and it brought them closer to the border. And where are they located now? Now they're, in, they're just on the other side of here on line in LaSalle. They are minutes from the border, and most of their product goes around the world. 99% is export. So wow. we're the perfect location for these kinds of companies. And of course, we talk to everyone about what we've been talking about in Windsor for many years, that is the new border crossing, the new link to the new bridge, the fact that we're building yet another bridge uh, to make our ease of getting into the U.S. Um, all the better. We have great products out of our Economic Development Corporation. One is Buy Windsor Essex. If you don't mind me making a pitch, people all over the world go looking for stuff and they don't know what companies can provide them with what kind of supply. So we say if you come to buywindsoressex.com, we will be able to tell you it's more than that kind of a phone book in the sky, if you will. If you don't know who the company is, you don't know what to look up in terms of a name. So we want you to visit our site and figure out whether you should be in our buywindsoressex.com. And then finally, our big motto is that we will roll out the red carpet. And that's what we're going to do for investors who are coming to our community. Great. You know, and in, in, in really, I mean, we, we see you as, as Windsor, 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 but the bigger picture is Windsor Essex. And oh, for sure. Like tourism, uh, they're reaching out. Uh, yeah. You also are carrying, you know, representation for the county, too. Definitely. So it's not all about because your offices are. Where are your offices located? Well, we're right in the new engineering building at the University of Windsor, which is very different as well. But I'm glad you mentioned this point, because when I was a minister provincially, I would say Ontario, and people didn't really know where that was if I was in China or India, but they know where Toronto is. And likewise, anywhere outside that I'm talking, if I say Windsor, it really doesn't matter which county town I might be in, it's their reference point. Okay. But I'll tell you, our food processing businesses are getting an awful lot of our time these days because we know we are ripe to get more investment and more growth there. You didn't uh, just say ripe. I, I thought that was kind of cute. Are, we are ripe? We are ripe, ripening. Anyway, I want you to go on the YouTube channel find the kinds of promotional data that we're putting up there now that is promoting our automotive advanced manufacturing, our food processors, our greenhouse business. We're showcasing Highline Mushrooms. We're showcasing... Why don't we do uh, this? We're going to sure. take our first break and then sure, when we come back that. from the break we will show you a little bit on our greenhouse industry. I think it's Peter Quiring at yes. uh, Nature Fresh, alumni Highline. of Distinction of St. Yeah, Clair College, may I add? Yeah. Uh, Highline, Highline Mushroom, Mushroom, I think, is in yes. on it. And then our friends at Peely Island Winery. Right. So, so we'll do that when we come back, the one, the only, the warrior princess, we're number 14, <laughs> we're back. So if you're wondering how in the middle of winter you get beautiful tomatoes on your dinner plate, it's because of places like this, Windsor, Essex County, 800 kilometers south of Vancouver. And right here in Windsor, Essex, we have the largest cluster of greenhouses anywhere in North America. Right now, I'm in this perfectly controlled environment. That is Peter Quaring's Nature Fresh. It's one of the largest independent greenhouse growers in North America. And what does he have? He's got hundreds of people that work here and 75% of his produce headed to the United States of America. They're leaders in traceability and food safety with over 150 acres of produce right here. They grow 98 varieties of tomatoes, 84 types of peppers, cucumbers, and eggplants and another successful organic line of bell peppers. And all the packaging is done right here at Nature Fresh Farms. So this is Windsor Essex. We've got great competitive business taxes. If you're in the food processing business, really competitive labor rates, a great integrated supply chain, and better yet, the best multimodal transportation system in North America. You're the business partner we've been looking for. Hi, we're here in